This here is a mesocosm and it's in a pretty bad condition. Look at this, there's so much fungus and mold growing all over the place. So I decided, well, let's put it under the microscope and sure enough, there were some beautiful spores visible. Hi, Microbe Hunter here and it took me over 100 videos until I have my first guest here. <laughs> Isabella okay. is of course your name. And uh, you came to me today because you wanted me to put something under the microscope, right? Yeah. So what is this here? Well, this is a mesocosm that I have to do in school for biology. So basically I have to take a plant which can survive in a so-called humid environment. Yeah, so if you, I don't know if you can see yeah. it here, that is moss, okay? Yeah, Yeah. okay, so well before we put it under the microscope, maybe you can tell me a little bit of uh, what you have done here. Basically I just put in some soil and some moss in here. I found that, just put it inside and this has been closed for around a month. Yeah, so the idea is, is to completely seal it off um, and to have a self-contained system. So this means that the carbon dioxide that is produced is used again by the plant for photosynthesis um, and during the day the plant produces oxygen which is then used at night. So the only thing that uh, is, uh, what is, which is allowed to enter is essentially light. Um, everything else should be completely sealed off. In other words, this is a model of an ecosystem, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, but you were a little bit unhappy with this. Uh, why is that? <laughs> well, it's decomposing. It's dying. Yeah, it's dying. I and I, when I look at it, um, I see a lot of yeah, um, yellow dots growing on the moss. This is not supposed to be. I suppose that uh, this is mold or some kind of a fungus. So I want to put this uh, under the microscope with you. Okay. Shall we get started? Yeah. Okay. Let's get started. Okay, the point of a mesocosm is, is to keep it sealed airtight, but the problem is, of course, getting the lid off. Don't inhale, don't inhale, everything's covered in, uh, in fungus and there are lots of spores in here. Inhaling spores is certainly not something that you want to do. It, they can cause allergies and they're not healthy, but everything can be put directly under me, my stereo microscope um, and uh, I want to have now a closer look um, at the fungus that I see here. Um, as a matter of fact, Isabella is now using the zoom function of the microscope, but we found it much easier to actually remove a sample and look at it separately because we simply have a little bit more freedom in moving the specimen sample around. So here it is. Uh, and when I put it uh, under the microscope, I put a desk lamp over it to illuminate everything properly. And this is what we saw behind uh, the green thing that is the moss and then uh, growing on the moss all of this gray stuff that is the fungus and the yellow dots now also appear to be of course much larger I think that these are indeed structures that form the spores I do not know if this is the same species um, of fungus uh, of mold or not um, and uh, but uh, in any case it's like this that there seems to be now quite a bit of a diversity of uh, contamination growing on um, the moss right now and uh, here I've taken another picture here we now see again the gray uh, hyphae or mycelia of the fungus that seems to be again one of those uh, fuzzy parts here it seems to be a sporangium that carries the spores and forms the spores and uh, we also found those uh, black dots and uh, we don't know what it is but these could be soil particles and that have also accumulated um, on the moss yet again here you see a lot of mold growing um, on the moss and almost suffocating it uh, this is certainly a, a very bad thing uh, to happen to the mesocosm, but uh, that is uh, the whole point of the experiment. Uh, you want to actually see uh, how it's possible or if it is possible at all to kind of keep a closed system over a longer time period. We now decided uh, to increase the magnification a little bit by looking at those structures using my compound microscope. So I took um, a small sample um, of the fungus and I dipped it um, in a drop um, of water which I placed uh, on the slide and then of course a cover glass goes on top of it I placed it under the microscope and observed everything in dark field so this green large thing that is the tip of a moss 
And the circles that you see here, these are air bubbles because after all everything is in water. So I was looking around for something interesting and I did find finally this uh, thing here with the stalk. This seems to be this yellow sporangium forming the spores uh, that we've already seen before. Um, and when I enlarge this a little bit more, then I actually saw much better that uh, it's actually also surrounded by an air bubble. Um, so evidently the water was not quite able to reach uh, the spores. Evidently the spores are hydrophobic a little bit and do not like to be in contact with the water. At a different place now in Brightfield, I finally got a very good picture of the spores. These are the round circles that you see, thousands of them of course, um, and they're all um, aggregated and some of them are uh, single and individual and then some of them stick together. But these are the things that actually, yeah, these are the reproductive uh, spores of the fungus. And then I said, okay, hmm, looks nice, but I want to try everything using my face, contrast, micro scope um, and indeed I was able to get a much better contrast here and here you can also see the strings those string like structures these are the hyphae the cells um, of the fungus and uh, these are that's so to say the fuzzy part um, of the fungus and yet again a whole bunch of uh, spores yeah very nice bright on a darker background face contrast really improves uh, the contrast of objects that are otherwise uh, relatively transparent and difficult to see now how does my table look like my desk you want to have a look yeah that's a big mess okay and how did you like it oh, that was really interesting i never thought that fungus could look like that well so that's it i guess right so what have you learned from this? Looks quite interesting, looks quite different when you put it under the microscope. Yeah. So now you have uh, plenty of pictures now that you can use to write your lab report. <laughs> Absolutely. <I hope>. <laughs> okay, and I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>